This is the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent. I am joined by Phil, Jordan, and Seth. As usual, the dudes are buzzing. Uh, Jordan, would you say this is toasty in here? Today's, before you ask and answer, actually, today's episode, we're going to go over divas, and we are going to have our first best ball draft of the year presented by Underdog. Jordan, is it toasty in here? Or no, this is perfect Feels good. weather. Feels I think great. this is like perfect right now. Perfect yep. weather. Mm-hmm. Well, make sure to go check us out on YouTube. We got a new setup at TFF Dudes. Got a couple cameras in here, a couple different angles. It might even be a little too advanced for Seth to even run these cameras. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm absolutely doing nothing right now. I just get a talk. <laughs> it's, it's, just like every other pod. Does that mean? <laughs> 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 uh, anyways, let's, before we get to our best ball draft, Phil, you have a good weekend. You want to just give us a quick little weekend recap? I don't know. Usually your weekend. And if you don't like our weekend recaps, just go ahead and fast forward to you know ten minutes, and we'll be getting into the draft. There. I feel like most people listen to it for our weekend recaps. Maybe so, but you know what? I, I'm just trying to you know. Cater to everyone, Phil. Cater to the people who are actually in it for fantasy. Be in there for, you know, look out for others for once in your life. How about that for a change? Well, I uh, I didn't do much. I actually saw Seth. Seth and I did some basically powerlifting this weekend. We should we should actually have a dudes like moving company. That'd be a good moving company name, right? That sounds like a bad investment for like my back. (laughs) (laughs) We would just manage the people. We're not going to actually be doing any lifting. Like we're the owners, Seth. Usually when you're the owner, we just buy a bunch of trucks. (laughs) Exactly, we buy a bunch of trucks. Why am I doing this podcast? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Seth's like, man, I don't want to be the one cleaning the bathrooms. It's like, dude, we own the joint. We don't yeah, have to do any of that stuff. Trust me, we aren't going to give you anything you aren't capable of. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, so we, I just moved some stuff, kind of hung out, went to breakfast with my with my children, had a nice little breakfast. That was pretty much it. And then I had a I did I had some events today, but yeah, it was good overall. Not much. Usually, usually, it was just nice. You know, with a baby, you guys all know. You know, for the most part, it's just like it's wild those first couple weeks. So you're like kind of sleeping. Kind of not. Phil's version of kind of sleeping is anything less than eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> like when he gets eight, he's like, oh. yeah. Phil yeah, is the perfect yeah. example of the last guy I'd want to be left with in a foxhole. You know, yeah. like it's just like, no. No, it, actually, it, that's factually incorrect. You, in fact, like, are the last person <laughs> that you want. The guy no. can sleep in any position because, and his snoring level is no, like. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's because Trent covers up most of the foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for you. <laughs> hey, no, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> Telling us that, what? That might Telling be true, you. Seth, but I still think people would rather have me in a foxhole than, than Phil. The problem is, is <laughs> when you say, shot, I'm, I'm telling you, and then you don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I, had, I had to process it a little <laughs> yeah, bit. I have to I'm give Seth you, some credit. Telling you what? Like, what are you telling us? <laughs> yeah. Seth, Seth, how was your weekend? Um, I, I did about the same thing. Same thing as Phil. I helped. Help my brother in law move into his house. Um, I only moved one thing though. Phil was there all day, so I, I'm glad I wasn't there all day moving a bunch of things. But I did help him move a piano, which I did smash my foot pretty good on. But I didn't say it until I got home because it hurt really bad later, <laughs> and it still hurts really bad right now. Like yeah, I have a pretty good bruise on my foot. Did you? Yeah, yeah. that's rough. Mm-hmm. And I didn't say anything though when it dropped. Actually, you know what? One thing I will say. Sorry, Seth, to cut you off, but trying new things like not saying anything when you're hurt. Have you ever? ridden a hoverboard uh are you talking about like the side-by-side wheel the single no the single the wheel single wheel no i haven't had one yet. you put something up on our twitter of me just kind of yeah, cruising around S- phil got on a hoverboard and you know it was wholesome content unfortunately no one got hurt yeah so that's what the tweet our, was. one of our like our producers Those things are our, really fast our person two producers ago yes for sure took a video of two and sent it to trent hoping i was going to fall but of course my athletic skills kicked in and i didn't I think but, everyone was shocked. Uh, those things are sweet. I used to think people who rode them were lame, and they now are. I'm like, yeah, case, <laughs> case <laughs> dismissed. But they're actually pretty. They're actually pretty fun to ride. Well, I saw a guy the other day that was riding downtown, and he had like a biker helmet on. Yes. Like, Full pads on his arm, like I think he was like just getting off like a bike. Yeah, safety is dumb. Not if like you're doing a it just bike, for bike, but like a motorbike. Yeah, like a like, like a crotch rocket type bike. Yeah, like a. And I'm like, dude, like. Yeah, no. But they go he goes fast, I guess. Yeah. Uh yeah, my weekend I uh I was Seth, check your phone. Uh anyways, that's what the hang loose sign means, you know. I'm, I'm giving you <laughs> some really? tips there right there. Uh Seth's over there grabbing his phone. I can hear it every single time he grabs the cord. Sorry, the cord. I'm not touching the cord. Maybe your leg is. Both my hands are up here the whole time. 
All right, well, the cord was Hand check. Over. Hand check. Right. It's always good. <laughs> it's always good when both hands are on the table. Uh, my weekend was good. I did a little bit of bucket golf, you know, a little warm-up for that uh, upcoming event next month with the Beware Bulldogs. So uh, I think I'm getting there. I, I figured it out. Bucket golf is just golf with a wiffle ball, and if you make it in the hole, you minus a stroke. If you hit the bucket, it's one It's one stroke. So is it one of the small wiffle balls, or is it the the normal like a kind of like a pickleball? I, have, I wiffle haven't ball. gotten a clear answer on that yet. I would think it's like the smaller one, like the golf ball like wiffle ball. Like the balls. golf ball size. Yeah. No, no, it's it's a wiffle ball. It's not a tiny golf no, ball. No, no, I'm saying there are wiffle balls the size of golf balls. Correct. Yeah, no, but it's it's the wiffle ball baseball. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so I think way that's easier. easier than yeah, for it sure. It is easier, yeah. We could probably go pra- – we probably should practice at the high school. We should go play in the park or the high school, have like a have little pre-tournament. Have you guys do a promo? Have you yeah. played soccer golf? That's really fun. I've heard of it uh, and never played. Interesting. No, I haven't it's done really that. It's really fun. I haven't done that. So, yeah, overall, good weekend. Just kind of hung out around the house, but – uh, did some barbecuing, Phil. I saw Cute you did up. some barbecuing. You know, the little Saturdays for the smoker had some nice ribs. Second, uh, my second try at ribs. The second batch was a lot better than the first batch. So, uh, you know, they did the old three, two, one method. So, I think that's six hours, if my math is correct. And yeah, they turned out really good. You can see those pictures on the Instagram at TFF Dudes or Twitter. And uh, should we get into this best ball draft? We're not going to ask oh, Jordan. Jordan. Sorry, Jordan. Jordan, how was your weekend, man? <laughs> uh, it was good. Didn't really do much at all this weekend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Seth, don't act like you did that much. You're working for your brother in law for yeah. free. And you hurt your foot. Yeah. I don't no. know. It's Phil got probably there earlier than me and ended up staying later. Yeah. <laughs> Seth probably has gout. Yeah. We'll just move over to I our sister pod, have... Gout Guys. <laughs> gout I think guys. gout is for being sedentary, I think. <laughs> No, I red, lots of red meat. You might need to go to the doctor, Seth. Jordan, how was your weekend? I'm no, sorry. it was good. I got, I've had a lot busy last two weekends, so it was good to kind of just do nothing for a weekend. And, and you're, you're, a, you're a little under the weather? No, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about, you know, like you said you were feeling oh, kind of sick? Like, oh, like I said that, you know, you guys text 830, and I was like, ah, I've been kind of sick all morning, but I'll be there to power through. And Phil, like, has a heart attack. Like, yeah, I'm going on vacation. I don't want to get sick. That's what I was saying. I was saying, Jordan. But he goes to a party with about 150 people. Yes. I'm not going to say what I said earlier about the party, but <laughs> the... Uh, yeah, because it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It's actually incorrect. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty close to being a doctor. It's I don't know. True. Maybe me and Jordan might have to fact check you if you said it. <laughs> That's true. true. That's true. Yeah, and you guys may have to investigate and we'll spend 15 minutes talking about <laughs> oh, yeah. so the socks so I wore six weeks ago. Yeah. Before I, yeah. Jordan, are you feeling good or not? Like, I took some emergency, some zinc. <laughs> like, I'm probably going to snort some yeah, hydrogen I mean, peroxide I feel before this. You feeling fine, yeah? I feel fine. Okay. Not like I feel fantastic, but like I don't feel like I'm dying. Did you sleep? Did you sleep good? That's kind of like a determination when? factor. Like, like, when? Like last night into today, did you sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah, I would say you're probably healthy. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're really spread out like really weird right here, Phil. I don't know why. I was kind of playing on you saying like right there, there's kind of an awkward gap in the middle. But well, I don't want to be freaked him out about being sick. Is that no, why? no. The main problem is, is like this is one of those things and it could be my diva. When you are going to try and enjoy a meal and you have to sit with like the the like the the leg of the table in between your legs. Do you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's what I'm, I'm not going right to pay. Now. I'm not going to pay for a meal if I have to sit that way. And and in the same, I'm not going to do a podcast if I have to sit with the like the leg of the table sitting in between my legs. It's, it's a, uncomfortable. It's a, it's a very small. It's leg. uncomfortable. It's very small. I can't move my we legs do this in the way with our microphones all the time. Yeah, and you I'm you don't sorry, mind you it. Have like the little like yeah, no, Jordan, no, 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 we, we all that? have our microphones. Yeah, you're Mister I mean, Fancy it is. Pants. It's not the nice microphone. Yeah. See, I have longer legs. Even though I'm a shorter guy, my my inseam is probably longer. Your than Your inseam might be longer than mine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. What's your inseam? Thirty. Yeah, I'm twenty eight. Yeah. See, exactly. Uh, we're getting some weird, uh, <laughs> some weird territory. We're talking about inseams, and I don't, who knows what we're going to talk go about next year. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I, I, that's why I'm not sitting close to you because I don't want to sit I'm next to this thing. To <laughs> oh. yeah, hold it in, Seth. <laughs> All right. Well, Jordan, you want to give us an underdog? You know, there's a puppy bowl coming up. Give us. We're going to get into this best ball draft here, Jordan. Do yeah. you want to give us, you know, a little underdog? Yeah, we're, we're going to do a best ball draft here. It's brought by uh, underdog do- underdogsports.com. Underdog is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. Draft your team and forget it. No setting lineups or trades. It is the dude's favorite place to place to play best ball in all kinds of DFS games. Enter dudes and they'll match you up to $100. If you put your $100 in, you get another free $100. That's $200. 
you can do this puppy we're gonna do, and you can put forty entries in the puppy. Yeah, so right like there. that's five dollars a pop. You got you can do forty entries. Um, I did that last. I did that last uh, season, and so I mean the puppy has seventy five thousand dollars a first. So I mean like it's a lot of money. Throw two hundred bucks in. Let it sit there all year long. Yeah, maybe you're or rich. Or 100, bu- 100 bucks. Like, you put 100 bucks in, get the free $100. Match it. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Put 40 entries into here. Just and let your money, money sit there. It's free. Yeah. I it's mean, you're getting, half, you're getting half of them for free. And then just see what happens. You don't have to do anything all well, year long. you could long. just put the, the free ones in, and then you're good. You could exactly. do that. Yeah, you could just you do uh, 20. Do promo yeah, do 20. 20 entries, and then the $5. Just let it sit there and see what happens. Like, and for what it's worth, if you get 15525 you get three dollars. You win yeah. eight bucks. Yeah, you so you get so your like, money back. Like yeah. And I'm right planning on winning this thing. Right now so. there's a hundred thousand about a hundred thousand people. That's a spirit fill. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You guys are going in looking to see yeah, what you can get if you like, get hey, last. So it's like I just made three bucks, guys. Like, no, yeah. I'm looking at the seventy five Gs right, right there. When you're the one out of a hundred thousand people, I'll, yeah. I'll clap for you. Yeah, the possibilities of me being a half a millionaire at the end of the season are pretty high, Seth. Like I'm feeling pretty good about it. Are you Trent? Yeah. Is is yeah. half a million seventy five thousand? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm planning on winning all of the prize money. 500k. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. I, I thought the initial thing was 500,000. So, I didn't see that. So thing. Jordan, hey, if you if you want to do the different one, you're rich. You know, hashtag how rich you can do the 25 dollars best ball mania, which is uh, there you go, Phil. You can win. Uh, it's a it's three million dollars to first. Yeah. So, so that's what I was confusing it with. Yeah. <laughs> so just talking about underdogs, Seth's been given some nice plays. We, uh, Not I think, today. I think we broke even over the weekend, though. Maybe yeah, you lost a little. The first couple times I posted, the first couple of days, we would if everyone copied everything I said to do, we would have been up probably. I mean, I don't know how much money you're putting in. Probably about fifty percent, which is okay. Like, mm-hmm. not not good, not terrible. But then these last few times, we're probably maybe a little down, a little down, a little bit. Okay, I made some other picks at the end of the day that I didn't post that kind of brought me back up. But now I'm going to be posting only one to two picks. You got a little crazy. Day. You got a little crazy. I did crazy. a little crazy because I got really good, and then I was like, man, I'm going to post a bunch, and then they all just sucked. I yeah. don't think I, I think. So yeah. if you want to see Seth's plays, go to the Discord, join it. It's Dude Nation. There will be a link in the show notes, so go check that out. Join it. With, there's places if you want to find a league in there. We. Post barbecue picks, friendship. friendship, marital advice, all kinds of stuff that's been in there. Marital advice chat's actually been hitting pretty hard lately. Is like it going it, off? It's been going off. Yeah. There's, guys, there's so. just I used to like being on the Discord, but then I got on Twitter, and I'm still barely active on Twitter. But Twitter is a, a fun space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, boomer. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so, with all eleven people. That <laughs> so here we go, guys. So Jordan, how we're gonna do this puppy bowl? We're all gonna try to get into the same. Yeah, let's all try to get the same. So only one of us will advance, and uh, yeah, more hopefully one of us will advance. And if not, if not, we can just kind of say what we're doing with our. Yeah, we can say what we're doing. But let's try to all. So we need to just all go on three. Make sure you hit the thirty seconds per pick. You guys got that? Yep. Okay, I'm ready. I'm I'm queued up. I just have to press it. Tell me. So we're all we're on the enter button right now. On the count of three, or just after three, hit enter. It's like. Or on one, two, three. Like, no, no, not right. One, no, two, no, three, three, go. Enter. Okay. Yes. No, yeah, one, yeah. two, three, go. Do one, two, okay. three, go. Phil, you want to count it? One, two, three, go. I just lost my Wi Fi. Are you? No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm just kidding. I, it Phil is not in. I, I'm in all by myself right now. Mine says three more. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for three more. Three more to start. So we got a little bit of time here to Are start. Are we all in it? Two more now. I, mine says Phil. I don't I'm know waiting for one person. One. Okay, I'm waiting for one person. So we're all in the same. We're puppy. all in the same one. All right, we're Here we go. go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Phil, I miss when you used to bark. You know, and then oh, oh, Phil, you're on the clock. You're, you're on the, on the clock. Let's go. Okay, James. Seth. Seth. All right. Hold on. Let me just talk. Since I have a whole minute here, this is kind of like this is half point PPR. We probably should have said this before. So it's not as I would say wide receiver reliant, right? Um, Justin Jefferson obviously came off a pretty historic year. Um, they're saying the top three guys is Jefferson, Chase, and McCaffrey. Those are the three top in the ADP. Um, I'm not sure who I want to pick. I think I'm leaning wide receiver heavy this year, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the first overall with Justin Jefferson. All right. Well, the clock, the draft hasn't started yet. Okay. So well, I'm just it starts yeah, in 14 I, I, seconds. I know I'm gonna say this, and it might be helping like fill out who who's kind of clueless when it well, comes. Well, you're to number stuff. three. No, I know, but like, um, 
you want to be stacking in these drafts. Like you want to stack. Stack is the stack big players. thing. You want to stack quarterback, receiver. You want to stack people um, on the same team because yes. they're on the same. You're team. on the clock if, just for your nose. Yeah. If so the guy the, doesn't get do good, his backup maybe does good. Yes, or The secondary kickers so go surprisingly fast. So J- Justin Jefferson, <laughs> I first pick. There it goes Trent on the clock. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jamar Chase. Ooh. I'm just Why did I? Right I, I like how you guys got way, you're way ahead of me. That earlier. is crazy. Bijan's RB two right now. That yeah, is yeah. no, yeah. But, hey, there's a lot of guys saying Bijan like might go two overall in a lot of drafts. One overall, like man, I guess I'll take McCaffrey here and figure it out. I almost went McCaffrey right there. Jordan, I was hoping you go McCaffrey, but I'm just I I'm worried he's gonna get hurt. Like I know who it's, are you gonna go rude. with, Jordan? If he picked McCaffrey, Jamar Chase, and I was gonna try to see if I could get that bro Chase. So we down. got yeah. Then we got Chris F here. Who knows? Honestly, here's the thing, though. Like, I'm probably going to just get mocked out of this place. But Bajan, I, I don't know. What's the shield I don't. There? What's the downside of taking him, Jordan? The shield means highly experienced. Oh, yeah. great. Under Jordan. Dogged in. You get what I'm saying? Like, what's the what's the, what's the the downside so, of... Hold on. So Chris F took Tyree Kill at four. Okay, what's your question, Phil? What's the downside of taking Bajan right now? I don't know. You think he's better? I don't know. Just depends. Well, yeah. just based on oh, he got, Lamb. was that early for so so it went one four went Tyreek Hill, C D Lamb, Travis, then Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. That is right. Did that seem kind of early for Lamb? He felt a little early, but I mean, I think Kelsey's pretty high in my opinion. Yeah. So I I'm, almost took Kelsey at three. I'm gonna but, be I mean, wild. That guy here. has a shield. I'm gonna be David, wild here. Dumb. I'm gonna go with Bajan. And okay. I and people are gonna people are gonna have a problem. With him. I don't like think that. so. Like that's where it was supposed to be. Like that's where he's I, being drafted. I mean, I, he, at. it was like two spots early, but yeah. Remember, go to Underdog Enter Dudes, Mahomes, and they will match you up to hundred bucks, guys. Mahomes uh, went at one eight, and so we're at one nine right now. Cooper Cup. That's interesting. Man, that seems early for Cup in the first round, right? Yeah. Like, I, I think I'm staying away today. from the Rams this year. Just my opinion, but hopefully Stafford should be healthy though, right? Like he yeah, most but of the I year. just I don't I don't know. Raider John, power. Jonathan this Tiff, guy's taking Devontae. Ten, no, ten digs at one eleven. So all these drafts are uh, twelve person drafts, snake, and then at the end in uh, after week fourteen, one person will advance out of the out of the twelve. And I forget this is snake. I'm so far away. We got Diggs, AJ Brown, Devontae Adams all off the board. We're going very wide receiver heavy here. Do we got a lot of Raider guys in here? Or is there only one Raider? It's power? one guy. It okay. looks like the same guy because it's Snake Trent. Thank you. You would think someone after doing so many fa- drafts and fantasy in their entire life. Well, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. I didn't hear Raider power. I was. I was. He was. He stopped was... listening to you when you were talking about your weekend. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Yeah. Lions Den. This guy's probably going to take a Monra St. Brown. Let's be honest. He should. He probably That's what I would will. Pick here. I would imagine. Saquon. He took Saquon. So we got Eckler, Saquon, two running backs off the board back to back after a ton of I'm really hoping this guy falls to me, but I don't know. Just say it. No, No. because (laughs) you guys are going to come up, num num. (laughs) I mean, I I doubt you guys would probably want to take my advice. You probably go with your own advice. Josh Allen just went off the board. TD touchdown passes six, Jordan. Derrick Henry, that is early for Derrick Henry. Uh, four, four. All right, I'm on the board here. Half point PPR, four point okay. for a touchdown pass. I am. This is only my second best ball draft I've ever done, but I do like them. They're fun. I'm actually going to go with Amonra St. Brown. I think that's a good pick, Phil. I think he's going to have a great year. I agree. For what it's worth. <clears throat> I agree. Um, I think the running game actually. Well, I mean, the running game wasn't Dude, bad no, last year. No, the Lions year. are going to sling it, man. <clears throat> Still, yeah, this is a Lions pod. This is a Lions pod. I think the Lions. Remember, I said this last year. Well, this always comes up. I said this last year. If Aaron Rodgers is not there, the Lions win the NFC North, and I think that's going to happen this year. I guess no it depends. Yeah, no, no. We all agree. You didn't. Jalen, you said Hurts that two years off. ago when Jared Goff first went there, and I Man, think that was I a really, far fetch. I really <laughs> wanted to get Hurts. I know. I said that last year. Hurts went off the board. So second round. We got here in the second round. It went Devontae Adams, Austin Eckler, uh, Saquon, Josh Allen, Derrick Henry, Amandra St. Browns, Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith, Garrett Wilson. Jordan's on the clock right here. He already has a running back selected. Already had a running back. 
What's up with no one having user profile picks in here? Like you should have a pick. No, I agree. I agree with that. Man, I'm gonna have Olave double, I'm there, gonna Jordan. Have double, I'm Are you snagging? Pick. Are you pa- snagging Pollard here, Trent? Who, what are you thinking? Not taking Pollard yet. No. You got 18 seconds here. Getting a little nervous here. <clears throat> Jordan, like the 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 zero RB. Like that that plays here too, right? Oh like, yeah, for sure. Like, is that something you're going with there. or no? Huh? Is that some, that's something you lean on? I yeah. like that strategy last year in, in most of my draft. Like zero RB. Yeah. You go in like what fifth or sixth? You start thinking about taking yeah. one. I'm having a hard time recapping these rounds, guys. So, so I'm on my qu- app. Real, so real quick, tiny. I just wanted oh, to say do you want me to uh, open this a little bit more to you, okay? I just wanted to say so roster wise, it's you get for every week, it's one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers. One tight end, one flex, and then we get 10 on our bet. So I like just, how I said I'm going zero RB, and I took Bajan first. Yeah, I mean, I, I took McCaffrey, so otherwise... But but, I, but you get what I'm saying, But though. you can, yeah. Yeah. Seth's on the clock. He just took Pollard. He's Ooh. on the clock. Or you're back on the clock, Ridley. Here, Trent. Yeah, I think, I, I think DK's going to have a good year, but I also think uh, Trevor Lawrence is also maybe going to be a little more consistent than... Um, Gino. Let's talk about our dog, our dog imagery. Trent's like the gold, like the the girl dog from Lady and the Trent. Jordan is a English bulldog. Uh, Seth is the dogs from I don't know what that dog is, and I'm like the, the Trent just auto drafts. Uh, I, get, I was trying to get. Uh, I took Nick Chubb there. I was trying to get. Uh, Who are you trying? I was to trying get? to get Brees Hall. Is what I was trying to do. I was going back and forth between him and <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> I took T. Higgins there. So I have McCaffrey, Olave, T. Higgins in my first three picks. That was a bummer to auto draft right there. And then Brees Hall went right for me. I had my finger right on the draft, too. You know, you can slide, right? Slide? Oh, I'm, are you on the app? I'm on an iPad with a keyboard. So. You can sli- slide with your finger and it'll draft immediately. So you don't have to press, you don't have to press and then draft. You can just slide. Uh, mm-hmm. Phil's on Phil's on uh, up on the clock, so we went three running. I took Higgins and three running backs from off the board with Brees Hall, Josh Jacobs, from Andre Stevenson. The running backs are getting a little. Man, a little I wish I would have. I wish I'd have got Brees Hall right there. I actually Jordan, went with, with D- how much. I went with D. Oh, go ahead, Trent. Sorry. Do you think that that's early for Ramondre right there, Jordan? It just depends how people want to draft. Yeah. I mean, the, the next good. available one is they're saying is Aaron Jones here. So Phil, you took DK. I took DK. Man, I feel like Dalvin Cook's pretty low. Well, list. they don't know what Dalvin Cook might not be a Viking. Well, right? Jamar Gibbs is his ADP is thirty seven. Does that seem high? I mean, I guess it's not that high. If Dude, Bajon they, is. They said that they were going to do. They said they're going to have him run in the slot. Yeah, they're going to play him a wide receiver. Yeah, I did. I did not see At the that. line. They're going to have him play a lot of slot, which is interesting. I should help Phil out here Brown. and tell him what he should do with his draft. You took him on St. Brown, right? Yeah. Okay. So I should probably go with Gibbs if he's still available. And Goff. Yeah, at some point. I was debating going Burrow right there. Just felt like it was way too early. Burrow. All right. Well, hey, and today's episode, guys, is brought to you by Trophy Smack. Trophy Smack is the dude's favorite place to get our fantasy trophies, ribbons, participation ribbons, uh, belt. Seth has a nice dino dude's belt. Whatever you got to get, go to www.trophysmack.com forward slash dudes to get 15% off your whole order. Take your league to the next... O- Next level, guys, you know, get a trophy, get a, per, what is it, perpetual trophy, you put everybody's names on there, whatever you want to do, last place of Lords, they got toilet seat necklaces, they got all the good stuff, you know, so go to trophysmack.com forward slash dudes, it really helps us out, guys, it won't cost you any extra money, it actually save you 15%, so go ahead and check them out, tell them the dudes sent you. So, so, last- so it's, hold on here, Jordan, let me ask you a question, because I'm coming up here, so I right now have a chance between. I think I would much rather go because we still have. Didn't, did he? Is he still on the board? Oh man, I thought uh, Kenneth Walker was still on the board. Yeah, should I go Kenneth Walker, DK, or Drake London and Bajon? And that guy's got Burrow uh, and Mahomes uh, stacked up. Yeah, that's dumb. Um, Kenneth Walker, DK. I think when you when you lean that way, if we're talking about a yeah. stack. It, it, what, so what this guy just did makes zero sense is taking Burrow and Mahomes. It does, it just doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna recap this. Uh, what are we on right here? Fourth round right here, Jordan. Here from Phil's last pick, I'll just do it. I yeah. got, we got Debo, 
then Najee, Lamar. So we've had, and then Mark Andrews, Gibbs, Justin Fields, Travis Etienne, Amari Cooper, DeAndre Hopkins, Joe Burrow, Phil Took, Kenneth Walker, and we just went, DJ Moore just went. So we got a little bit run on the quarterbacks, and then a good amount of, we got the running backs trying to fly off the board a little bit. So yeah, quarterbacks starting to go. Um, I am up in a pick, so let me kind of take a look at this board here. I have an idea of what I want to do. Brand new line pickings. If it falls. To, ah, shoot. That I guy to, just did what I wanted to do. I need to cue somebody up. Okay. Um, hmm. Trevor Lawrence, you know you want to do it. I don't have any. It doesn't make any sense, though. Um, all right. I'm going to take. Oh, gosh. I, we'll see if I can get this on the turn. So, Jordo, how how much stacking tr- uh, sets up here? So I just took talk uh, to Herbert mm. right now. How That's much stacking is too much stacking, Jordan? There's no you honestly. Like, if I got JSN, would that be an issue? No, if if you have the quarterback, that, no, so it'd be better. Like, it would be better to go Smith. So you're saying stack with quarterback wide receiver. Don't go with double wide receiver. Yo, you actually, could do a quarterback double wide receiver, but you don't want to do you don't want to do four basically. Really, you should have a Man, you should have a. a you should have some type of every quarterback. You should have one of their receivers. Yeah. You really want to get two team stacks really in every draft. All right. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna fall to me later, so this might be dumb. But I think I'm gonna grab Kirk Cousins here, just because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get. That's, in. I I don't mind reaching for that. So, so that's just that's why I'm reaching for sure it now because get. I don't know if I'm gonna get him later. And one guy, I'm really okay. Never mind. That's the wrong guy. Um. Man, I don't know if I like really like any of these receivers on the board. Um, let's see here. Shoot. I know what Trent should do in his next pick. I'm going. I'm gonna go with a rookie here. You just took JSN. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trent, just, do you need me to t- tell you what you should do? I'm I'm looking at a receiver right now. You, I know, and you should. I know exactly who you should take right now. Yeah, I know. I just I don't want to. Thank you. Are you down, Christian yeah. Kurt? And I'm That's gonna, I and I am do. going to uh, take Keenan Allen here. So I have a receiver paired up with Herbert. So we got JSN, Christian Kurt, Keenan Allen. For that was the our fifth three. Round. Yeah, we I are. was gonna take Trevor Lawrence. Um, so we got 18 rounds here. I don't love Keenan Allen, but I need to have someone paired up with uh, Justin Herbert. Well, and it's possible Herbert has the year that they were talking about him having last year that he didn't have. It's possible yeah. it's this year. And if Keenan Allen can stay healthy, I, I you know I know he's older, but his I was, hamstring's gonna go. I was looking at Watson right there. Is kind of who I was looking at. Is it, it was yeah, Watson, but you Watson have, Allen, Kurt. But you yeah. have to stack you. You have you took Lawrence. You have to pair him up with one of his top weapons. Yeah. You do. So Watson just went, Dobbins just went, Aaron Jones just went. So this is kind of an interesting situation for me because I feel like I can. there's probably something better out there if I'm looking at wide receiver. But I also am not opposed to going with something like you said, Jordan, going Geno Smith. But he's way down there. With yeah, the I wouldn't of take Seth him right take, now. I feel like Seth's going to come around and snag him with the uh, JSN matchup there. I don't need him. I have... Um, you have uh, Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Yeah. Uh, Phil, you got three for- seconds. Two, Lost one, it. Drake Lund. You got him. Yeah, get him for, Drake get him for trade this. bait, Phil. You can trade your quarterback. You can't trade. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's no trades. <laughs> there's no. Uh, That's why I didn't laugh. For people who don't know, best ball, <laughs> you there is no trades. You just uh, you set it and forget Suck about it. Set it up. Yep. Set it and forget. Trent, if you hit that little, do you have a uh, like a little graph? So we got right Drake here? London, George Kittle, Terry McLaurin. Last three picks. You don't have it. Never mind. It's not quite. It's yeah. Computer's better for you know if you're doing a pod for it. Well, what's your guys' uh, positions like? What do you guys have? I know we have a break here. I need before. a running back. So I have a quarterback. I have Herbert, McCaffrey, Olave, Higgins, Allen. So I have the Herbert Allen stack right now. Michael Pitt, Jerry Judy, Michael Pittman just went off the board. So what do you, what's your roster look like right now? I got two running backs and three wide receivers. So I need a QB and a tight end. I don't end. think this Brock Purdy's still fall. available, Phil. That's so uh, 
we all have a quarterback receiver stack already, and so Phil does not. So we're already. You guys are a little bit ahead of the game. That's why I'm not. I don't really want to go with anything in uh, Atlanta, though, Jordan. And I have mostly right now. I have basically all Atlanta. Oh, I probably could go with Jared Goff. That's probably who I should yeah. go with. Yeah. Yeah, you need. You to do can that. probably wait a little bit, but. Yeah, Geno Smith and Jared Goff are right next to each other. I probably, like you said, I probably can wait a little bit here. we got by way of tight ends here and stick around to the end of the episode we do have some divas coming up guys you won't want to miss that as usual and uh, i'm up in like two here i wanted that goddard pick i, I was gonna i, I was want, actually I was, gonna snag him there so i will say there. you know this i was looking for the bye weeks the schedule hasn't been released yet oh yeah <laughs> yeah next week we will have our you, you know just take that out man <laughs> yeah we'll have just, our win totals next L. week all right i'm on on the really the only here. position i care about that is like quarterbacks you know and tight ends because you probably only have two yeah. of those each but yeah you grab two quarterbacks they're both you know week eight or something it happens sometimes yeah especially when you, if you drop this one though phil's on the clock here oh i this is i'm this is a major i am i like three <sighs> Two, one. I'm gonna. Ah, oh, dang it, man! This, this this drop thing. Auto draft. Dalvin Cook. I didn't want a running back. I was trying to get Brandon Cooks. You were gonna go Brandon Cooks then? Yeah, I was. Instead of Tyler Lockett. I was. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like. Just say it, Phil. Just say it. I mean, if this guy falls to me, I'm happy. I actually am worried. To be honest with you, Seth, I'm worried. How oh, many, I know who Seth's gonna. How many Seattle I'm, I'm, players? Yeah, I'm gonna I get them though ahead of you. So it's okay. You Joe prob- Mixon just went. You probably will, Jordan. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get sniped. I already can feel it. I can already feel the snipe coming right now. George Pickens just went. Here uh, we got Chris F one B, and then I am up. Here it comes, Jordan. Just tell it's us coming. right now. It just, just come. Uh, oh, I didn't get sniped. Oh man, I'm so mad. So right I am now. taking uh, DeAndre Swift right I'm now. I'm so mad. I wanted. I, I don't so understand bad. the DeAndre Swift hate. Like the guy is walking into one of the best offenses in the NFL. He's fr- like I. I just. Okay. I think they're. He's going to be used a ton in this offense. So I need another running back here. Um, well, Trent's up, but anyways, I need a running back, and then I'm probably going to get a tight end. Take a reach on Javante Williams. See what happens there. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to go with the safe pick. I I wanted. I'm thinking about taking Pacheco here because he has. I was just going to. He has some good right games, now. but I'm also thinking Cam Akers. But I did say earlier I want to stay away from the Rams, so I'm going to s- stick with that and stay away from the Rams and take Pacheco. And if I'm looking at tight ends here, um, I thought Kincaid would be a cool one to take, but that mm-hmm. offense is just full of weapons. I'm so I'm going to stay away from it. I think someone I might take just a, a dart oh, you know here who you is should. Darren, I think I think I'm taking oh, Darren Waller. I was gonna say I know who. You, ah. Oh no, actually I take it back. Evan Ingram. I'm gonna go there. That's not what I was gonna say. You should. But I want to go. I just because he had a good end of the year last year. I think the Jaguars' offense is gonna be something fun to watch. Seth, I was gonna say you should take an Addison right there. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah. It's... And double. Are stack, you gonna take him? Double stack cousins. Sure no, the only reason I, I would have said that is double stack cousins. Mm. I'll go Addison here. I feel like I need to just you know, kind of I, I wanted Addison for that whole round as kind of looking at him. I don't the running backs are look at this. The running backs are now very thin. Yeah, you really can't wait for your You can't wait for any, running backs are gone. How much time do I have, guys? You have eight seconds. Well with them uh, with their when they put him Jamar five. out in slot, don't you kind of like David Montgomery a little bit or no? It, it's not terrible. Yeah. Uh, I was that's, I, I would I say that's gonna... probably the best one in that's left available. Do you get what I'm, uh what were you saying? I was saying that he's probably the last last Who? one, David Montgomery. Yeah, I was gonna take. I took Acres. I w- I didn't have enough time. I should have been looking at that. I wanted to look at the. Bucks, but do you get what I'm saying Bucks about running back depth chart and Montgomery there, Jordan? Man, I should. Dang it, I wish I would took Rashad White. <sighs> Those offenses are probably about the same though with the uh, the Rams and the Bucks. I don't mind. I don't mind with my running backs being uh, McCaffrey, Swift, and Acres. Man, I don't even know why I'm looking so high. I'm not gonna get any of these. Yeah, I'm I know. Up, You're I'm at the turn. Eight, I'm up in 18 picks, man. 
Yeah, the turn. I don't. I'm not. A, I don't know. I hate being in the top. I, I like being in the middle. It, it, th- yeah. I like. I hate being first because I pick two guys and then I'm at 22 away. I honestly didn't think we'd all get in the same puppy. I don't know why you were worried about it. I don't know. It's better content being you know in this you know. With you my know, dogs. Trent didn't listen to the guy who did 40 of these last in the week <laughs> last year. Well, I didn't think you did them with anyone you knew, though. Yeah, but I saw, like, I, you know, half the time I had to wait, like, two a minute for uh, other yeah. people to join. Again, again, again. Phil, did you get auto-drafted yeah, I again? Did. I did. Did you not Phil. know you were on the clock? Prepare. No, it's, no, it's the scroller. It's the scroller. I knew what I wanted. I had it queued up, and the scroller messed me over. But that's fine. I took Darren Waller. I needed to tie it in. You had it queued, then it would have drafted that guy. He probably didn't, had didn't have, no, right. not queued. I had it like I knew where I was going to go, and I just didn't do it. I've, I've now auto-drafted two. This is embarrassing. Can we cut this pod and just start over again? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're still going to have to pay. I had it. I did that on the <laughs> first. I did that. So, <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> cut it. So, still gonna pay. I did that the first. Didn't remember I got Mac, Mac Jones last year, first yes, pick. Yes, yes. OBJ uh, went at... 80, 81, Connor, 82, Kadarius Tony. You guys see the report that came out about Kadarius Tony? I today? saw that. I yeah, saw that. The Chiefs it. want him to be their uh, wide receiver one. Yeah. Uh, Marquise Brown. Dude, keep that that wide like receiver that. room is going to be very interesting in Kansas City. Marquise Brown, uh, Deontay Johnson just went. Let's try to play bucket golf one of these days. Guys, come up here, get some practice in. Yeah, we it's need to. It's pretty of fun. Course. You can play in your backyard. I feel like hitting it into a bucket is going to be so hard. Well, if close. you hit the bucket, you're, you, oh, you, you can't know, hit you the bucket. Hit the if, you, if you get it in the bucket, it's minus a stroke. Oh, man. So it's good. Yeah, no, you'd rather get it in, but if you hit it, you can. Yeah. yeah. But it's more room for air. Trying so to get uh, Anthony Richardson just went first pick of the eighth round. Well, I had him queued up. I just didn't know when I wanted to take him. Interesting to see him in the eighth, though. Zay Flowers just went in eight th- at 87. They took, him, they took him from down did, low. Does that person who has Zay Flowers, did he draft with Zay Flowers, does he have Lamar? Yeah, he does have Lamar. Okay, that makes sense. Though. Just looking at quarterbacks still available, we got Deshaun Watson, Tua, Daniel Jones, Aaron Rodgers, Geno, Jared Goff. Russell I just took Wilson. Jared Goff there. You took Jared? That was, yeah, you kind of need to do that, Phil. Yep. Kyler Murray, Jordan Love, Bryce Young, Trey Lance, Matthew Stafford. How is Trey Lance rated above Matthew Stafford right now? That doesn't make sense to me. No, not at all. And Traylon Burks just went. No one wants Deshaun Watson. He's QB nine on the season right now. Mm, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. As long as I don't get sniped. Michael Thomas. No. Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to double stack Herbert. And I'm going to take, I'm so, Jordan, I'm gonna you take are Quentin such Johnson. a rat. <laughs> such a rat, dude. So, Seriously, gosh. Jordan. You are I, I said, I had, to, I had to, I know, I, had to, I know, it makes I sense. Did I did what you should have done with Addison. Like, I, you should have done that with Addison. I still cannot like you for it. Yeah. This is how cousins talk to each other, Trent. It's true. Well, I mean, when you're married, cousins by marriage, you can. <laughs> you guys remind me of each other still, though. <laughs> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take uh, David Montgomery right there. Oh, to, to our new producer right now, is this just like just riveting great content? Like, I feel like, are you playing like Tetris back there, or what's going on? <laughs> Here's the deal with Tetris, though. That new Tetris movie on Apple is, is it so good? good. I haven't it's watched so it yet. I, I need to it. watch that. It's just you know. Shows you all about the USSR and all that stuff. Like, it, I, I watched it twice. I watched it once on my flight to Toronto, and I watched it again with my wife. But it's really good. Uh, Seth just took James. It's Co- Apple so, so It's really good. I took Quentin Johnson to double stack with Herbert and Keenan Allen. Trent just took David Montgomery. Seth just took James Cook. And Seth is on the clock right now. I should probably start looking at what I'm going to do I'm going to grab this here. guy just for kicks because he's suspended six games. I, I was thinking of Jamison Williams. He suspended six games, but I don't know if the, any of these other guys are better than him. I, I think that's a f- fair assessment. And I don't want to take another quarterback yet. Because I think he can follow me, but we'll see. I'm up in 22 picks. Man, that seems like the receivers. There's just not anyone I really like in here. Yeah. Man, I auto-drafted. Dang it. How's it feel? 
Well, I've done it before, Cole Komet. I had I had ooh, him ooh. I had him cute. Guys, up. Uh, does Kamara here just seem really too like too low just based on his talent? Like it seems low. Yeah, but But the problem is he may not play all next year. There's or there's yeah, there's a know. possibility yeah, that there's true. some Good serious point. issues. Is it comes in August, right? Is the trial in August? I'm what not am sure. I thinking? I'm not sure when his I don't know trial why, is. Yeah, that may, that I don't even know if there is a trial. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of suspension. You're at one second, Jordan. Just got it in a little uh, fire mooth. The fryer, Patty P. I'm glad I had you know I have five other guys queued up in case I mess up again. Don't look at my screen, Phil. Come on, man. What did you say? What did you say? Phil was look peeking at my queued board. Speaker, over here. screen peeker. Peeker. Yeah. I wanted to get. I was Rogers debating there. between Injoku. What did you say? Fire Mooth and Kincaid. <laughs> Who would you guys have went peeper. there between Injoku, Fire Mooth, Kincaid? I think you went with the safest pick. Kincaid maybe has the biggest splash, yeah. but uh, Njoku, like I know they really like him, but it seems like he's. Uh, I, I think Kincaid like, would have been a reach there, anyways. I'm staying away from rookie, Kamara, right, rookie tight ends. I'm on the clock. Yeah, Kamara here. just went. I, I kind of wish I would have taken Kamara, but. It's all right. You got 18 seconds left. And best ball, Kamara, right there. That that's like a pick that could maybe win it for you. Yeah. But they did get a con- contrary Miller. So for what it's worth, Charbonnet went before Kamara. That's weird. I'm taking Cortland Sutton there. What's your? Yeah, we haven't gotten you know like a Those Russell Wilson, much, you know, check in. Boy. That's right. Not probably much much to be desired there. You should get your Russell Wilson jersey, Phil, and like paint it orange. Uh no. <laughs> what? Um, that's what? hanging in my back. office. Am I just oh, not Jamal? Jamal Williams. So I'm okay. actually pretty happy hey, with my team right guys, now. Guys, Jamal Williams. Do you think Condre Condre Miller being drafted? He affects like Jamal Williams the most, right? Like if if Kamara is not suspended. Yes. Now I do think Kamara is going to get suspended for what it's worth. Yeah, the video so looked pretty bad. Yeah. It's just a matter of how long he's suspended for. When the audio after the video of him in the limo talking isn't yeah, good either. Yeah, it's just curious how long he's suspended for. That's crazy. Someone leaked it, huh? Or, yeah, or something just, like that. TMZ got him. Like, they yeah. get everybody. That's crazy that, like, a buddy is willing to, like, just give you up for... How much money would it cost you, Phil, to throw me under the bus? I'd though? do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the problem. <laughs> Michael Thomas now just went... 20 so grand like... on that to see how fast you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got some incriminating stuff. About, yeah, reach out to me. I'll I'll put my phone number on the pod <laughs> if you want me to screenshot some incriminating stuff about Trent. Oh boy, I'd uh, love to see. No, I am not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you said that's really weird. Anyways, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't meant that way. Reminds me of a memory. More I, than a memory, we should. Our I don't even know what our we got. Uh, we're a, we're a week behind. I feel like the people are gonna really like the draft. The draft is we got week. a good draft, a good draft coming up. Yeah, we got a bald guys draft coming up. You guys it's are gonna so like good. it. It's good. It's good. It's people a good one. really. How many people texted you about the airplane draft? Like people I haven't a talked to. A lot of people like, texted me about the. Yes, I had an employee who used to work at like McDonald's reach out to me and just like, hey man, I remember you from high school. You know, used to come in and get the McChicken, and they sent me something about the airplane the draft. McChicky. I is this is, are you being serious? <laughs> no. Oh but but a lot of people so, did reach out to me. Did a lot of people reach out to you about the airplane? A draft? lot of people told me they're like it was really hard to choose who the winner was. And I also didn't realize how much people close to me travel. Like it's like, oh yeah, I'm getting on the airplane. It's like, man, am I the only one not traveling these days? I feel yes. like I reached yeah. out yes. to a bunch of people. Um, yes. <laughs> and our, so Phil was last pick to Cortland Sutton. <laughs> then it went Jamal Williams, David Njoku, Elijah Moore. <laughs> Michael Thomas, Deshaun Watson finally went. Samaj P. Ryan then, right there. Uh, Alex, Alex Madison, Daniel Jones, Brian Robinson, Juju Smith Schuster. I like P. Ryan right there. I had P. Who, Ryan who in my t- queue. Who took P. Ryan? Phil said P. Ryan. I don't know. Did, did P. Ryan not go? He did not go. What? Adam well, Thielen. Why, why Phil's in the no, clock. he did. He hey, did. No, it didn't. He didn't. Just stop distracting him. All right. Here, here's what I'm going to do here. He's gonna take I'm going to just Ryan. fire. No, no. I'm going to do this because I know it's going to make Jordan mad. I took Rashad, Rashad Penny. Penny. Hey, you can I, was, I He was in my queue. Honestly, I, was in my I, queue. I, I like Rashad Penny there. And I also, I think Rashad Penny is going to have a good year. I think he's going to have a better year than Dalvin Cook, Jordan. I'm willing Rashad to Rashad Bateman to just went. Take a egg bet on that with you. We need Jordan. to Rashad make our Penny egg bet video this week. Rashad Penny versus Dalvin Cook. Why Dalvin Cook? Like, <laughs> They're both on my roster. P. Ryan just went. <laughs> and there's a squat anymore. 
Oh, I, I have a guy here that I like. Probably gonna be the same guy. I want. No, I, I think. Oh, I, know I got sniped. Dang it. A chain. Yeah, man, I was gonna take a chain there. Oh man, now I'm in a world of trouble here. World of hurt. Um. I'll take uh, my guy here, Alan Lazard, bringing it back with uh, Aaron Rodgers in, in New York. Not bad. Taking Darnell Mooney. I'm going with my boy Geno Smith. Full Mooney. Going to pair that with JSN. That's good. Um, And then now I have no idea who I want to pick here. I was looking for a guy. I have a guy in queue. But I think it's a stupid pick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to reach here just because this is $5, and it's not a big deal. And if it ends up working out, and I can make some big money out of it, I'm going with Phil's tight end pick of the year, Dang Sam it. Laporta. Interesting. For what it's worth, I yeah, will say this. Very interesting. The The Lions threw the tight ends a ton in the red zone at the end of the year. They did. A ton. Like, a, like a dumb amount. And I don't who was a tight end. I can't even remember who that. Like there was one game where I think every touchdown scored was from a tight end. I think it was like five or something crazy like that. And there were like two or three different guys caught it. Yes, you're right. You're right. You need to go fly on. So okay, I think it's kind of a. I'm going. No, no, I don't think that's. I I actually don't think that's too bad of a pick, Seth. Okay, so I'm just for the record, I'm going to reach here a little bit, just because I want to get this stack in. So I'm going to take Derek Carr here, so I can stack him with the Lave. I want to get that the, the double the next the two stacks on my roster. So I don't know if Derek Carr would be there on my next pick. So I just kind of want to get that stack in. Seth, you're wearing a 40 year Star Wars anniversary hat. Did you go watch the Return of the Jedi in theaters or something? No, I just knew it was May the fourth a couple of days ago. So I was like, I'm gonna wear my hat. Okay, nice. Mm-hmm. How many? So your wedding anniversary is on May fourth. Is that you watch intentional? Star Wars? No, it actually wasn't intentional, but we were like, oh, it's kind of cool. Let's just do it anyways. Because it was Saturday. Well, you're just a nerd. So you're a Star Wars nerd, so I thought maybe it was intentional. Yeah, so like at our and wedding. And your day, wife had the Leia like rolled hair. That was cool. No, she didn't. <laughs> but uh, you guys should do a whole Star Wars wedding. No, that would have been really. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna dump on people who like that stuff, but I don't want to do that. Kind of thing. I don't not, do that. Those are your people. You're not that Seth much knows of a like nerd. four people that did that. So, so I mean, I did do like I did do like a, a, I think I did the opening Star Wars song like on our way when we got announced for the second time to go sit at the like the head table. I think we didn't have the song going. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott just went. Doesn't that seem early for someone who's not in our roster? It does seem early because I feel like he could have got him. Yeah. I think we got someone in here who maybe Phil's burner. I don't it's know. It's not me. Phil took Tyler Boyd with his last selection. Kyler Murray went off the board. That's probably too late for Kyler Murray. Yeah, I, I looked at him last. I just last really like to take quarterbacks that are going to pair with my wide receivers. Who's the quarterback in Indianapolis? Am I- Anthony Richardson. Oh, yeah. Is he going to be? Ooh, Rasheed Rice just went. I like that. So we have three three Kansas City receivers off the board so far and. Kadarius, Tony, Sky Moore, Rasheed Rice. Be interesting. One of those guys is going to be good this year. I just have no idea who. who. It's possible they're all really good. <laughs> it's possible with the like. It's possible they could just eat each other, eat into each other's value. All That's three what I'm of saying. Them. Yeah. Like, the, just like you have three. I mean, the Chiefs have built around that kind of offense. Like three, like fast little receivers are just they tear up tear games up, and then you have you know um, why am I blanking on his name? When did Mike Evans go? Uh, I think like two rounds ago, two or three rounds ago. Man, it just seems late for him, right? But I know it's like I might be, old. I might be, uh, I might be. Damien Harris, Clue Herbert lost two picks. Sirking Jared is on the. That's an interesting name, Sirking Jared. Yeah, you might want to be careful reading some of these names <laughs> on the pod for what it's worth. Chigozim, Kincaid, Raider power on the clock. I mean, get, uh, Kincaid is going above Dawson Knox. I think that makes sense. He spent a lot of draft capital on him. And he's really good. Yeah, for sure. You know where he went to college at, Phil? Mm-hmm. Where? Utah. Utah. Phil yeah. loves Utah. Dude, come on, bro. I do my pod Luckily, because it's a Pac-12. If it hadn't been a Pac-12 school, Phil might not know. No, I, I, my most knowledgeable position is the tight end position. 
I should be known as like the the tight end whisperer. Like I I where the Jaguars rookie tight end go to Britain Strange? Where do you go to college? Uh, I think he was actually a Penn State guy. He was Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We should go through all the rookie tight ends and <laughs> no. see what he, how many he can get. <laughs> Jarek McKinnon, Russell Wilson. Jarek Honestly, McKinnon. was he actually a Penn State guy? Yeah, he went to Penn I, State. The only reason I remember mm-hmm. those because I saw the Jags take him off the board. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he went to Penn State. I uh, was, I was wanting, hoping Jarek McKinnon would fall to me right there. Zay Jones just went. Wow, that, Zay Jones got sniped. By. Yes, he did. Uh, do you guys think the Washington's running back situation is a little weird now? Because they got I think it's weird. Gibson, Brian Robinson, and they just drafted. Um, who they just draft? I'm blanking on their, th- their running back. They I just can't drafted. remember that guy's name, but I just drafted him in a dynasty draft today. I'm feeling really like good about late, this. Late, late, I can't remember his I name. I just took Jusecki. I know they have like 19 tight ends in New England, but I don't know. I just Maybe don't. it'll be like Aaron Hernandez and Gronk. I said that like say. two years ago. Yeah. I think I say that every year. It doesn't, yeah. seems like it doesn't Well, they really had happen. Hunter Henry and uh, the first year they had Hunter Henry. Is Hunter and, Henry uh, still there? He He's got to still be He's there, still right? There. Hunter uh, Henry and who was the other guy? John who's in Atlanta John, now. Oh, so it's just Hunter Henry and Jacecki. Yeah. Roshan Johnson just went. Man, I was hoping I'd get Hyatt. Ooh, Chig just went. Okay. Did he just get picked, Seth? Because I was looking at him too. Yeah, Hyatt got picked. I feel pretty underdog. good about this pick. Under. I'll just add another guy to the Saints offense, and I'm gonna go Condre Miller here as my fourth running back. Somehow, what are you guys projected to get? Somehow I'm having a lot of Saints do you here. See what do you see what you're set? Do you see on yours what you're projected to get? Jordan, do you see? No. Took Jordan Pick Lover. seven pos- position, and then my projected is two. Do you bit. have a Packers weapon, Trent? I do. I think I have uh, I have somebody. I can't remember who I have. You know, I think I kind of want to take a... You do not have a Packers. I thought I'd, no, I don't. I'm, I, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to take I this one. I think I thought I had Watson. Just I got Kurt instead, though, is what it was. I have... I should have other got. guys already on that. You just team. took another Minnesota web. That's a good yeah. double stacked. Uh... Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I took Condre Miller. Trent took Jordan Love, and then Seth just double stacked uh, Cousins and and uh, J- Justin Jefferson with Osborne. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm gonna go with another Jacksonville pick here. I'm gonna take Tank Bigsby. Oh, I like that. I really like that actually. Just get my Packers weapon. Yeah, that was smart, Trent. I was also... Romeo Dubs. Okay. You won't come to me here, but I was thinking... um, Did you just get picked? Who? No. So I have a little bit too much... It's a little too too much Saints offense for me. I'm not going to say it. But I'm going to double stack Derek Carr with Jawan Johnson. Give me my second tight end. So... I mean, Derek Carr does like to throw to his tight ends. Yeah, he does. No, it's not I do think... like I In hindsight, I wish I went to Condre Miller... Just because I knew I was gonna take Jawan Johnson, so I don't know if I love having four Saints, but we'll see. I think the Saints offense could be sneaky good with Derek Carr. And that's a terrible division, right? So yeah. like NFC South, like, yeah, you shouldn't be too scared to play him there. And I'm talking like I don't know. Like I'm just I think Derek Carr will be okay there. Getting my Cue all set up. Phil's on the clock. Phil, right now would be a good time for you to. Uh, I already have some just queued. <laughs> right now, I actually, do a I actually promo. just went. Oh, I went I'm with. Just kidding. I went with. Uh, Who do you go with? Do you? He I took Desmond, Desmond Ritter. Ritter. I love I, how Antonio Brown's because wide I have, receiver 109. I have Bajon and I have. Phil, like, you just punted the quarterback position in this draft, which yeah. is fine. I don't like. But I do have Drake London and I do have Bajon. No, yeah, I think it makes sense. I'm just your draft is interesting. Yeah, it's that. it's uh, it's it dropped. My projection where I ended is dropped significantly. I'm where now, do you see that? It's uh, it says just pick seven, seven pick position, and then it says projected. I don't think mine. I don't think I have one. Yeah, you probably are past. Like they're probably saying, like, hey, you're probably gonna end up top. 2500 whereas you're probably you fall outside of it i would imagine <laughs> i don't see anything on the app are you gonna go with mims here trent i am not gonna go with mims probably bryce I, bryce young just went so last couple of picks phil took desmond ritter then went mccall hardman mccall hardman's on the jets did i miss that he was on there last year 
No, or no, no. He calls he agency, calls right? himself Jet Hardman. That's what you're thinking of. Interesting. DJ Chark and then Bryce Young and then Jonathan Mingo. So three Carolina guys all in a row. Sirking Jared just took Alec Pierce. Sirking Jared. That's a fun name to say. Um, when did McCall Hardman? That well, that helps the Kansas City situation quite a bit. I did not realize that. I messed up right here. I left the draft. I gotta get back in here, puppy. Oh. We got a slow. I'm back in. We got a slow draft in the Discord right now. If you want to do this with us, uh, go check that out. Interesting. So McCole Harbin's on the Jets. Okay, I kind of like now. That makes all those other Kansas City weapons nicer. Tyler Algier just went. I've kind of been looking at that one, but I just it's not doesn't seem exciting enough. What Algier? Like I just I don't know. I I think they're gonna run the ball a lot though. Michael Gallup just went. What do you guys, you guys have any, uh, so Phil, you're up next. What are you looking at right now? What are you thinking? I'm actually thinking I'm looking at another wide receiver here. Um, I mean, you get, you can play four wide receivers. So, I mean, you want to get as many of those guys as you can. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm looking at here. I probably should have gone heavier, I think, at the beginning, Jordan, instead of going uh, so many. You're on the clock, Phil. Yeah. What do you think about, uh, man? I might jump. Jeez, oh, I'm just gonna go with uh, Valdez Scantling there. I, I don't mind it. I was just thinking about it. Got to me doing the same thing. You can't go wrong with taking a Kansas City weapon no. this late in the draft. And he's the most like I know he's not very good per se, but like he's the most experienced veteran receiver. Wonder if I'm gonna get sniped right here. By me? I don't know if it'd be you. It might be you. I don't really love where I'm at. I don't really love anything here. I don't like anything here. I only have three running backs. I might need to get another one. I have four is usually the sweet spot sweet spot for me. Four or five, depending mm-hmm. on if you like your fourth. <sighs> I'm gonna go just cause I'm not super high on Anthony Richardson. But I just love this guy's talent, and I think there's some opportunity here. So Josh Downs, it's not bad. That's what I was thinking. I'm going Rashid Shahid. That's what I was going to take again. I just I couldn't take who. Yeah, Downs. You're going to take Downs. Yeah, Shahid. I just I didn't want a New Orleans guy. Yeah, so. I did. Okay. Um, I don't really want to take another running back at all. Who's the quarterback? Las Vegas is some things and Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Okay, I'm going to go with Renfro. Oh, I didn't mean to kick big Jimmy G, but I picked him. Sorry. Slid the wrong guy. Yeah, um, Downs, man. Downs does have some uh, opportunity in Indianapolis. Just McKenzie, Alec Pierce, Michael. I cannot believe I just yeah. slid on that guy on accident. Feels so stupid. Okay, I'm going to take <laughs> Michael Mayer here. I, I was kind of looking at that one. I'm going John Mechie. I'm so mad I slid on that guy. On Taking accident. Mechie, you know, back with Bryce Young. I don't know. Maybe Jimmy G has some crazy games that just help me out. Every once yeah, in a while. maybe he can throw farther than 30 yards this year. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so we, You guys have a preference between Rondale Moore and Shakir? I might. Uh, Shakira, Shakir. Rondale Moore was... I'm taking Shakir. I, I, I would take I was, Shakir <laughs> here too because isn't Rondell Moore? Is he still on the Cardinals? Yeah. And I, I isn't Moore? And isn't uh, Brown still on the Cardinals? Stupid. And isn't uh, yeah? What's his we face? Don't, John Hopkins. Not leaving. Yeah. So like Shakir, there's an opportunity there with the Bills because of uh, McKenzie's gone. So like that's who kind of was the guy there. <laughs> we don't sing enough on this pod. No, I will say you guys just are very immature. We're trying to take a draft seriously, and you're over here make, doing stupid stuff. The guy's name is close to Shakira, Jordan. What am I supposed to do? He's a starting slot receiver for the for the Bills. I will take that and wherever I just got him any day. Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Grow up, Phil. You're on the clock. He didn't know that. This is why you auto draft. Both of you guys have auto drafted five times combined. Ooh, yeah, that hit me where it hurt, Jordo. <laughs> I'm going to go with Raheem. You know, for the guy who complains about money and is the biz- biggest nit here, 
You sure have wasted the five bucks by auto drafting <laughs> for auto drafting three times. Nit. Oh, he called you a nit. We just jumped back into what like the early 1900s. I just called you a freaking nit. <laughs> you bum. Yeah. Phil has wasted the five bucks here when he barely will deposit five bucks into the app. No, he only does the five for five. Yeah. He's like, let me deposit five and get five. The problem is didn't realize the minimum is $10. You get the free match. Yeah. Oh, bummer, Come Phil. on. Phil loves the $1 bets. Yep. All right. How many more rounds we got here? We are getting close here to wrapping this thing up. Got like four more rounds? Three? Now you're just taking. Really, we have three. Now you just take. Yeah, really, we're like, at the darts, end of we're right? at the end of round fifteen. We got sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I like about. I'm. I like where I'm at right now. I'm to probably take, get another running back here and two receivers and call it good. Like my quarterbacks. Like my. I'm fine with my tight ends. Give <laughs> it what three rounds left? Yeah, I'm gonna try to grab another running back here. We should be allowed to eat on these drafts, even though I know people no, hate it. No, people would hate that. That'd be so bad. Hearing Seth like just smack gushers into the mic. Man, I got a guy. I got a guy I like here at running back. We'll see if he falls to me. I'm, I'm doubtful he does. A couple right. guys here that I like, actually. All right, guys. Well, today's divas, which we'll be doing after the draft, are brought to you by Manscaped. And Manscaped, you know, just uh, take your grooming up to the next level, guys. It's the dude's favorite place to get all of our grooming products. They have the Lawnmower 4.0. We got some deodorant. We got the Weed Whacker on the table here for us. Go to manscaped.com. Enter dudes20 for 20% off your whole order. I'm looking at the new Beard Hedger, the official beard trimmer of the UFC. Go check that out. It's also the official Beard Hedger for the dudes. So go to manscaped.com. Really helps us out, guys, and uh, take your hygiene up to the next level. Jordan, what we got in there? What? What, what what draft picks did I miss while I was doing oh, that? Oh, so we got a uh, last couple. So let's just go. So we got, uh, yeah, we haven't recapped in a while. I took Shakir. Then we went, uh, Taysom Hill went, Kenny Pickett, Matt Stafford, Mostert, Hayden Hurst, Trey Lance. I, it's low for Trey Lance if he comes back healthy as a starter Exactly, there. exactly. Uh, De- uh, Deontay Foreman, Jeff Wilson. So we have both Dolphins running backs going here in the last 10 picks or so. No. Devin Singletary, dang, both the running backs that I was looking at both went. Uh, Devin Singletary, Chase Brown, and Ty J. Spears, man. I was hoping one of those would fall to me. I should probably took them over Shakir, but um, I think those are two guys who have a lot of opportunity. Who knows what happens with Joe Mixon? And then Derrick Henry, the Derrick Henry down year is going to come this year. I think I was a year early on it last year. I like Ty J. Spears a lot. I like his talent. And Curtis Samuel just went. Rondale Moore just went. Makes you feel pretty good when you wanted, we're thinking about Rondell Moore, your last pick. Jordan, he goes, you know, almost on the way back, right? Like yeah, almost made I mean, it all the way back to you. Like, yeah, in some ways, makes me wish I maybe could have got Shakir on the way back and I should yeah. took one of those running backs. Robert Woods just went. Man, I'm in a tough spot now. Hooper, Hooper, Phil just took Austin Hooper. He's the, he's a Raiders starting tight end, isn't he? Uh, him and my, no, Mayor. Uh, Mayor probably is, but, uh, um, I guess I'll tell you that running wide receiver here because I don't like any of the running backs. Yeah, best running. Oh, man, like, and is Kareem Hunt just going to be done? Who knows? Am I on the clock? Anyone can anyone tell me if I'm Man, I was gonna take I was gonna take Gainwell there. Gainwell just went, Taekwon Thornton just went. Okay. Man, I I just I can't take Marvin Mims because I just I can't stand Russell Wilson. But this guy impressed me towards the end of last year. I know they drafted Jalen Hyatt, but I'm gonna go uh Isaiah Hodgins here. He looked pretty good at the end of the, end of the year, and Daniel Jones seemed to like him. That offense, I think, in Denver is going to be different. You Might don't be think a little is? reach here, but I'm going Deuce Vaughn. Deuce is wild. Oh, I love that trend. Yeah, I, I don't, actually I, I Deuce like is that. Wild. I love that. Okay, I'm going to go. It's a good running back flyer, Trey. Yes, this, is, this is just in case Chase Claypool comes back <laughs> with an insane year. I'm going Chase I don't, Claypool. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Here, yeah. right? um, let's see. What do you guys think about Cedric Tillman at, at Cleveland? I like Cedric Tillman's talent. I don't know. 
mean, it's possible Watson has a good year. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm at my second to last pick here, so I'm going to take him. What do we got here? I'm up. I'm on the clock. I'll throw a dart throw on Marvin Mims. You know, Phil told me you're going to take him. I said no, then I ended up taking him. So Yeah, it was like um, two rounds ago, though, so now it makes a little bit more sense. I'm just going to take a little flyer here. I don't like the running backs. I don't really like Fournette, Hunt, Hubbard, Zach Evans, Gus Edwards. They always seem to like him in Baltimore. He he might have one or two games. Like yeah, it's definitely one, a, couple, it. a couple spike weeks. You know, the inevitable J.K. Dobbins injury happens. He's the guy for a week or two, and when maybe gets me in a couple of weeks, so. So check this out. This guy with the shield, Chris F1B, like a very seasoned uh, underdog pro, Jordan. This Underdogger. Is his, this is his lineup. Tyree Kill, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Mike Williams, Christian Watson, Damian Pierce, Tyler Lockett, Tua, Aaron Rodgers, Devin Acne, Achane. A-Chain. A-Chain. A-Chain, my bad. A.J. Dillon, I can't pronounce that guy's name, Chigozim Okanakwa. Nico Collins, Jalen Warren, Taysom Hill, Tyquan Thornton, Gerald Everett. What do you think about his? Uh, I'm honestly here, surprised Phil, you can you, read that. You're long. on the you're on the clock here pretty soon, so aren't you? Oh, I already I already have someone lined oh, up. Okay. Um, and this is, I'm gonna get made fun of, but actually it, it does bring up that guy's thing. I Zay think, Jones. I th- no, I got <laughs> Mike White. I actually think I don't know how much uh, I like the offense there in Miami, and I don't know how much Tua is actually gonna play next year. And I don't think you can pick anybody up. Oh, right? man, I like that Tank Dell pick. Sorry to interrupt you. No, tank, tank Dell went. It's probably more important than what I was saying anyways. Appreciate you interrupting uh, me there. Actually, interrupt Phil the whole pod, please. Uh, so, so I can't wait picks, until that pick just goes off, and I'm just like... So look at me now. 17th what? round, uh, Marvin... Go back to 8th grade self. If, <laughs> Cedric Tillman, Marvin Mims, <laughs> Gus Edwards, Gerald Everett, Tank Dell, Van Jefferson, Phil took Mike White. Then Darius Slayton, Leonard Fournette just went, who does not on a roster. And then Tim, uh, Tim Patrick just went. Tom Brady's still available, Seth. He's going to turn down that TV deal. He might come back. We are entering the last round here pretty soon. Last pick of the 17th round, and we'll be on the first pick of the last round. Yeah, running backs are... You don't really need more than no, four, four or five. Um, for what it's worth, Phil, I don't know if I like that guy's draft. Like that guy's draft. Yeah, see, I was bringing valuable content, and then you just interrupted yeah. me with your pick. And we were all intimidated him too because he had a shield. Yeah, you guys. Well, that's what I was trying to bring. Give I was, me a sword. I mean, Trent, you could deposit five grand into, into this app, and then you could. Oh, uh, is that all it takes? Play all, play a five grand, and you could probably be highly experienced. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, is that I mean, a money you can thing? look up the badge things probably and see what it takes. No, look up the badge things while you're doing nothing over there, please. You know what? Because you said that, I'm no longer gonna look it up. I was gonna be like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be a good friend, good co-host. I'm gonna look this up, and then you just threw a little dig at me, and now I'm definitely not doing that. I know you don't do, do it though. for him, Jordan. I know don't he's. I know Jordan. he's looking it up. Don't tell him. Just look it up. Just so tweet it at me so he doesn't. Red know. or black shields that lets you know that those drafters have experience in at least five hundred or a thousand total drafts. Oh, I thought it was going to be like he's a big fan of like medieval times or something like that. <laughs> hey, I love medieval times. It's that show, a, that show down there in L.A. That thing's amazing. That's such a that's oh, you such eat a flex with your now. hands. Oh yeah, yeah. So we got. I love someone, someone tweeted like it's like you're eating with your hands. Yet you're drinking like a Dr Pepper. It's like what the heck. So we got Fournette went. Tim Patrick, C.J. Stroud went. I don't mind that. Hunter this, Renfro, Kareem Hunt, Chuba Hubbard, Isaiah Likely. Wait, why is Zach Ertz so late? Paris Campbell, Zach Ertz, Phil's in the clock. Why is Zachary so late? Because he's like going to be in a retirement home pretty soon. Yeah, because he has a walker this year. They're letting him play, but he has a walker. Are you, is he serious? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious with that question? Well, I'm just like, I'm he actually the three a legit question. <laughs> he's out there in the slot with a walker. Yeah. And a cigarette. I'm asking a legit question. Well, they did draft Trey McBride last year. He'll be in his second year. I, I, I would imagine he takes more of a bigger role. Also, people are just down on that offense in general. So, can we get back to the medieval times talk that we had a little? Oh, earlier? absolutely! I I got a wood axe as a kid. That was great. Yeah, Phil, did My you? Team uh, Phil took Cordell Patterson. Yep. 
Then Marvin Jones went. Zach Evans. Yeah, I feel like my team never won either. Somewhere. Trent, that was Here's just the un- deal. I we us as a group should go to medieval times. It'd be a good. You time. couldn't pay me to take a four hour <laughs> drive with you, like <laughs> Jordan either. So maybe Seth. I had to move. I, if, if you can move a piano with someone successfully, you know that the that relation you're off to a budding relationship as friends. Let's see if I don't. Let's see if I get sniped here. <laughs> Yeah, next time we could do this pod and we have our weekend recap, can you guys please try to figure out something to do with your lives besides move a piano? Like, All come right. on, I'm trying to rivet it. I'm going to trying to figure out what I what else did I do, my, man? You know, I'm trying to talk here, Phil. With my last pick, I'm going to take uh Josh Palmer. Another another charge. We had plugged piece. your mic about three round three, <laughs> three three rounds ago, Jordan. You know, I'm trying to actually keep this uh <laughs> fantasy relevant. Yeah. Uh, okay. And you're I'm talking about here. pianos. Yeah. Yeah, which I doubt I did even grill. know how to play. I did grill. Trent, you have eight seconds left, my I guy. I know, I know, I know. Five. He's taking the whole four, seconds. Oh, he only has three, one tight end. There you go. Yeah, I was like. All right, I'm going to take another piece by the Eagles here, Wes Watkins. You have, oh, okay. All right, so there we go. My projection is 2008. Seth hasn't even took him yet. 84. I did take him. Where are your, Here, what are your you? things still going? Trent, are you 2,848? No, it, it says it. I, I'm, I'm no, 2,884. What are you? 2,726. The fact that you're projected How to awesome beat me is just tickles your What's your projection? 2,884. And what's yours? 2,726. You're projected to beat him, Trent. No, no, no. Isn't it lower or better? Is it points or is it? I thought it was lower. No, it's points. It's oh, your no. projected points. <laughs> Who's the dummy Bro. now? So the top guy is Raider Power. That's dumb. I'll go off. He has Daniel Jones, Russell Wilson, CJ Stroud, Eckler, ETN, Damian Harris, Wilson, Ty J Spears, Hubbard, Diggs, Pittman, Ayuk, Brown, Cooks, Thomas, Jonathan Mingo, Michael Gallup, and Mark Andrews. He's one tight end. My team, I got Trevor Lawrence, Jordan Love, Nick Chubb, Javante Williams, David Montgomery, Deuce Vaughn, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Christian Kurt, Jordan Addison, Darnell Mooney, Sky Moore, Romeo Dobbs, Rashid Shahid, John Mechie, Marvin Mims, Cole Komet, and Trey McBride. Um, so I got Justin Herbert and Derek Carr. I stacked Justin Herbert with Keenan Allen, Quentin Johnson, and uh, Josh Palmer. Uh, with Derek Carr, I have Condre Miller running back, but then I also stacked him with Chris Olave and Juwan Johnson. My other running backs, Christian McCaffrey, DeAndre Swift, Cam Akers, Gus Edwards. I have uh, T- my other wide receivers that aren't stacked. T. Higgins, Alan Lazar, Josh Downs, Khalil Shakir, Isaiah Hodgins, and then my other tight end is Pat Fryermuth. Yeah, mine is, uh, just to close it out last but definitely not least, uh, QB's Jared Goff. Desmond Ritter, Mike White, my, my running backs, Bajon Robinson, Kenneth Walker, Dalvin Cook, Rashad Penny, Raheem Moster, and Cordell Patterson. My wide receivers are Amonra St. Brown, DK Metcalf, Drake London, Cortland Sutton, Tyler Boyd, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Darren Waller, Mike Jacecki, and Austin Hooper closing out. Did you say your team set? No, I said the top team. Oh, sorry. Top I, thought, project- I thought you said no, your okay. set. I'll say my team. Kirk Cousins, Geno Smith. Jimmy Garoppolo did not want to pick that guy. Accident. Uh, Tony Pollard, Isaiah Pacheco, James Cook, Tank Bigsby, wide receiver, Justin Jefferson, Calvin Ridley, JSN, Jameson Williams, KJ Osborne, Chase Claypool, Cedric Tillman, Quez Watkins, Evan Ingram, Sam Laporta, and Michael Mayer. All righty. Well, uh, you guys want to get into our divas here? A, I, I enjoy that underdog draft. We'll have to do that Let's clap it up yeah, for that clap draft. Let's clap it up for that draft. Anything you guys learned real quick from from that? Because I know for the most part that was cue, all kind of your guys' first. I need to cue guys first up, underdog best. I need ball. to cue guys up a little bit more. Do that a little bit more in advance to cue them up and. I think cue guys up and then also just kind of know like the stacking part of it, the strategy. That, better, that part, better yeah. Strategy, yeah. Like and, and like to feel like I needed to go after you know Geno Smith. So or it's just like what what are you, I, what are you I, thinking here? I wish guy, I would have went quarterback a little earlier. True. I wish I would have went Burrow rather than Lawrence just to get the Burrow chase down. Yeah, I, I think that's what you should have done. Well, yeah. Jordan, in this this class, it almost seemed like last year that class was a little bit easier to go zero wide zero RB until fifth or sixth, whereas this one it's like a little bit more appealing. I don't know why. I feel a little bit more jumpy to go after it. You know what I mean? I mean, I took McCaffrey and then I took a bunch of wide receivers and I came back with like Swift and Acres. I don't mind that. 
I think Swift's a really good pick. Yeah, I think so too. Especially that late. Before we uh, jump into these divas, you want me to hit up our uh, our sponsor, Trophy Smack? You gonna? You're, we, we did that already. Yeah, I know, but you were nudging me, so that's usually my thing. I didn't sure know, do another. I trophy didn't know smack if you were gonna like idea. get you. You sent me a text message of of Shakira. Shakira, yeah. Yeah, during the pod, like twenty minutes. American ago. Idol. Or you something don't. Like yeah, that. you don't have to. You don't have to do the Trophy Smack, right. but just go to Trophy Smack. Dot com forward slash dudes. Uh, Trent, I mean, Seth left his strap at home. We wish he would have brought it over here. Stay so we, strapped, Seth. Yeah, we wish we would have brought that I thing. My strap at home. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, we, uh, yeah, what are we doing here? You want to go diva? Divas? Divas. You want to go, oh, go first? Oh, I'll go first. Yeah, 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 go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Go right so ahead. So this is, this is sort of a diva. It's not, it, I mean, it's just kind of like. What the one I sent you, Jordan? You can just do it that. It kind of leans into, Trent, what you were saying about people not wearing deodorant. Yeah. But the opposite. So here's the problem. People who wear too much cologne and if yes. or perfume, yes, and if you hug them, you smell like them for the rest of the day. Yep, I know people like that. There's a, there's a happy balance on you know how much uh, cologne you should put on. Yeah, I like my. Can essence. you put on my you... smell? I choose my soap to be a specific smell. You know what I'm saying? I want it to smell that way. I also choose my deodorant. We went through all my different deodorant flavors or scents. I choose those because I have a strong desire to smell I a love specific taste way. Testing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have. I I'm actually sh- for all the. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you did. This is the second time, but for, okay. For all the things that you like, say, oh, I need to ask my wife for this, for this, for this. I'm absolutely shocked that your wife doesn't pick that stuff out for you. I, I'm kind of surprised too, because like if my wife doesn't like the scent, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm a little bit more adventurous. You know what I'm saying? Like I just like <laughs> okay. I like to keep people guessing. Love you know, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, here's the thing. Like if I find a new scent and I got to get a new, I got to get some new deodorant. We should manscape. They're it, sending us. Yeah, we got manscaped deodorant. In oh, the okay. Mail. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. I haven't gotten new. I haven't. So you haven't deodorant had deodorant like weeks. three. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we can tell. Anyhow, no, but but I don't like. I like to choose a scent specifically. Like I have the. I've I've adjusted my deodorants a couple times. I really like. I don't. I think we. Can, I don't. Know, we can say it on the pod. Anyway, there's a specific soap that I really like. It's just like a bar of soap, um, and I like the specific smell of that. As opposed to what other type of soap has a bar. I don't like the Dove soap. Like I feel like that. Not a bar of soap. Like the. Like the men's shower gel, that stuff is too strong. People like, use that, like body wash. Yeah, I'm yeah, not a fan I of that. that. I feel like it's uh, very, it's always stocked on you guys, shelves. You still got to use, use the bar. Body, I use body wash. I, yeah. use, I, I do both actually. You got to use the bar. The bar is the way to go. Yeah. You know. And so, anyhow, all I'm saying is that uh, I think people who who don't know the limits on perfume or cologne, I think someone needs it. It's actually. Is it ever okay to have more than two sprays? No, it's not. And it's almost as bad as smelling as not smelling good. Oh, it might be worse. Uh, no, yes, you're right. Because I don't the know smell, if it's the bad I smell think leaves. Give, I think the bad smell leaves and it doesn't give me a headache. Correct. The but there are some smell. people who are like, I, I, I like you hug them. You're like, oh, man, this just that smell reminds you of that person. But then there's also a smell where it's like. I'm now in my car, you know, and I'm three miles down the road after I gave you a hug and I still smell you inside my car with me and you're no longer here. You know what I'm saying? It's, bad. it's a bad smell. It's a bad thing to like. I just do. You, are you disagreeing with me? Trent? No, I, I agree. Do you with wear you. cologne? I, I do wear cologne, but I don't like overdo it. Like I, I know plenty no, no, of people I, I who overdo it. Yeah. I, I probably only know. You know, actually, I probably know a decent amount of people who overdo it. Like it's sometimes it's accidental, but there's then it's like, hey, you continue. It's most overdo people. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm talking about? Like everybody yeah. has that mix up where like, hey, I accidentally sprayed myself, you know, two extra times or whatever, or I, you know, spilt it on me because sometimes it's not a squirter, right? So some there is an exception to the rule, but there are a lot of people. It's like, okay, you're consistently putting too much on. Yeah, and here's the move. When you put on uh when you put on cologne, it's not the direct to your shirt. You need to spray it in front of you, let it sit for a second, and then walk through it. No, that's, yes, that's, no, 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 yeah. no. That's hundred percent what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you don't you don't no, blast you're it to directly spray it like on your hand, right? Okay, here. what time of cologne are we t- like? What are you? What are we spray. talking? about? What well, if it's in a bottle and you have to dump it? Do you dump it in the air then walk underneath no, that's it? That's a little bit no. different. Do you have Do you have the bottle where you have to dump it? I know a lot oh, do of people. I do know a lot of people who have the bottle. I've used the bottle, but I have the spray. If you if you have a okay, here's what I would do. If this is probably for the true. record, they both work. Both ways yeah, work. You don't have close. You usually just you can put it pretty far from you and spray and then. 
which is the basically it's oh. kind of the same thing as I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm, I'm straight up point blank twice. <laughs> so so here's the deal. So no, you're point you are part I, of the problem. No, I'm like I'm like I'm like th- four fingers away too. <laughs> To your face? Why are you doing no, it? No, like I'm this? just like you know, like one okay, two. Okay, so yeah, Trey gets up and he's like, "Wait, if wh- you're where that are you close, spraying? you're supposed to, if you want to do it like that, you just put it on your wrist right here. I spray it like on my wrist and then my neck. I do yeah. two sprays. So you do drink. you? Do, so hold on, hold on. This you might be part of the problem. You you put a little bit on Have, your wrist. Do you smell my cologne right now? Like, am I? Is this like a something you're telling? There's me? No way you're wearing cologne. No, right no now. my wife like has a very strong scent. It's it's really like it, it's it's unfortunate, really. You know what I mean? No, but sense can, of smell sense is what of you smell. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 So no, you so it's so like dumb. if I had too much cologne, she'd be like, "Hey, you have too much cologne." Yeah, she has a good sense of smell, is what yes. you mean. Yeah. Yes. Do you, you don't wear it like when you're doing like well, I'm not wearing it when I come to this podcast, but yeah. like, I put it on before I go to work. Yeah, you, I would say that's more of a formal thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like for me, I like, work outside, so I'm not going to put it on. But like cologne, like. For me, it's like if it's like fancy cologne that you put on for like a wedding or like yes. then you a do date. the wrist, then you do the wrist and you do the neck. So you get your Axe body spray, Jordan, and you spray it on your wrist. No, you don't use that. <laughs> no, no, I always, I always think it's like it's the mist. You like shoot it up, you let it kind of dissolve, and then you walk through it. Is and that then, what you did for your wedding day though? Uh, you probably put the wrist and the neck no, for your wedding same. day. Same. I don't, I don't like, I don't like having it on me that much. I like having a hint I've of it. I've been using the same smell for years. Yes, yes, same. Yeah. I actually, I, don't, I actually don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, but Trent, I think. I have never heard of anyone tilt. spray it and walk through the that's mist. That's how most people no, do that's it. How mo- but like, like spray like that, like just the. Oh, like we're just putting the spray on every day, every morning. That's how most people do it. So Trent, you go wrist, wrist, body. No, one wrist, neck. That's all I do. You oh, so do it's, it like it's two total wrist and then and then yeah. body, not two bl- two blasts yeah. plus the wrist. Trey, yeah. you do that like how most people do. Like you go like you're going on a date or a wedding every single day to work. Yeah, that's how you put on clothes. That's how people should feel when they're around me. Like yeah, <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> yeah, basically yeah. But it seems like my cologne, like I've had the bottle for like two years like it doesn't yeah, run you know, out no, I, yeah. I, you're actually not the person i was going out with this i wasn't i wasn't going is out he on this pod can you say it no no one specifically okay is it the guy running the camera did he no. see the one <laughs> i'm getting a whiff i'm getting a whiff no it's no it's <laughs> <laughs> it's no one specifically i'm just saying like i know pe- I, there are people in your life that you, you is it generally more males or females males for sure i feel males. bad when it's like older people though because they just probably don't know it's no, it's but it's always dudes. Like it's always, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah and then probably, I have to I'd go around fair. smelling like a friend, and it's like that bothers me. You I know what I'm saying? Are, a little bit. I would say there Depends are a couple women friend. though that are like that do smell. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, yeah, like a little too much, and you're like, oh man. Like, All right. Yeah, I feel like I think I have more of a problem with it if it's like I saw my buddy from high school, and it's like, man, you know, I don't even like. I know this person's coming. I don't. I'm just gonna be like, hey, knuckle stay six feet away and not because I'm worried about germs. Like I don't want to catch that scent. You know what I'm saying? You like mask up to keep away from cologne scents is basically what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Seth, do you have a diva? I don't have one. Okay. Jordan, do you have anything? So, uh, Trent, I'm just going to be like, Trent sent me, uh, the, uh, Antonio Brown thing. And, uh, I think he was implying that I say Antonio Brown is the diva for not paying his, uh, for not paying his players. But you know what? If you decided that you were going to, Play on a team owned by Antonio Brown. You're the diva. <laughs> you should know better. You should know better than to that be guy like, has done, like. I am so going to volunteer things. to play, or I'm going to willingly choose to work for Antonio Brown. Yeah. What he was locking players out of their hotel rooms if they didn't play good. Yeah. Right? What, yeah. I, not I paying them. Pay him. Like you are the diva for deciding that it was a good idea to work for Antonio Brown. Yeah. No, it's um. But here's the thing: some people are desperate to play, Jordan. It's like, true. If Antonio, like no, Sycamore, you know, Sycamore actually, Sycamore let me Academy. turn this around on you. <laughs> if Antonio Brown's like, hey, I got a squad of, you know, basketball of, players of JV, he's giving you of, two, of high level JV players. He's giving you two grand, you know, like yeah. maybe play just a football game. Yeah, two I'm giving you, I'm giving you some game. high level JV basketball players or varsity. <laughs> totally your decision. <laughs> Well, you are you saying your are, decision, Jordan? Are you saying it. are you saying yes or no? Well, t- no, 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 no. I'm saying no, to Antonio. No, Brown. that's that's factually you incorrect. Yeah, yeah. I'm not working for Antonio Brown. If you got paid. That's you're a diva now, actually, for saying that. You wouldn't. 
You would for the stories. I would do it for the stories, not even for the money. I do it for the so, thank you, Chase. So, sometimes you have to just make friends with people who you're just like. And you I'm know gonna, you're gonna get hosed. Yeah, you know you're gonna get hosed. <laughs> like, but it's for fun. You know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, may get run over Phil, by a vehicle. Some, like there's a, some people care about their character and their integrity. I get you don't obviously. So if Antonio, I wasn't Br- guessing you were one of them. Honestly, <laughs> Go if ahead. Antonio Brown comes on this pod, we aren't letting him come on. No. Jordan, what? that's mean, man. Jordan, that's mean. Maybe he's changed. Yeah. All right. My diva of the week. This Hold on. Let's all vote. If you believe Jordan, raise your hand that he wouldn't do the basketball. I don't believe him. Okay. No one I believes you. Three against one. You're wrong. I would not. <laughs> you, we know you better than yourself, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, my diva of the week is I do a podcast with Jordan. So like I call him you know, every once in a while. Sometimes he's at home. Sometimes he's not at home, okay? This is just like, hey, you need to be a man in your house. Maybe maybe not even a diva. I called him in December, and I keep hearing a beeping noise go off, okay? Oh, Smoke detector. Man. Needs to change the battery in a smoke detector. No. December? That, December? December. No. Drove me nuts, okay? Like, that happened here one time, and it, like, kept me up all night. I was like, I'm getting the ladder. I'm changing the smoke detector, okay? You and waited all night to no, do that? No, like we got home no, no, from like no, no, a date wait, at 10 o'clock at night. Story. I think this gets worse. Oh, no, it got worse. We we honestly could not figure out what it was. Okay. Like, And then I didn't have a ladder big enough to go into my ceiling of my yeah. roof. So I had to wait till the morning <laughs> to change it. Ends up it was the carbon monoxide alarm. And you just... That, no, the battery, you, the one the you battery need to okay. be changed. Those are I took ones that thing off out. the wall and threw it away. <laughs> not going with that ever again. Anyways, drove He's me gonna crazy. He's going to grow some more plants in his Basically. house. Basically. So, I called Jordan today about the pod. Okay. Oh, His smoke detector battery still needs to be changed. How do you live? Since how December, do you, how do you, how do you function as a human being? It doesn't go off yeah. that much. I, how, it went it off doesn't twice. go off that much. It went off twice during our phone call. How <laughs> often does it go off? You I honestly have, don't know. I, you I don't have think to have it time I right honestly now. I don't think it like I I even like hear it anymore. This guy would like go to a POW camp and like, you know, just survive. Like, like like, just, not like, only survive but thrive. Probably gain weight. <laughs> yeah. Like if Trent hadn't have said that you're something about I wouldn't notice that it went off. Like I just don't <laughs> that's notice the problem. it anymore. Wait, that is just actually Jordan, I don't. How, think how do you? Right, how do you, that's I don't how long the takes, battery is. You are an adult. Yeah, you bring a chair, <laughs> get some, go to the dollar store and get a couple batteries. Undo I have, it. I can do it. I have batteries in my. So it's you're not doing it on principle. I just don't. I, I just don't how think do about doing it. No, that it. is dumb. That is so dumb. You just decide not to. Well, yeah, I mean, wait, at, this, wait, at this point, I might as well let the next Maybe person say, do it. This is I'm moving out in three weeks. Obviously, this thing has been low batteries. If it's been beeping since for December. Months. For months. It's been either, beeping for months. So that, it's not that low either, battery. Or you're going to die from carbon monoxide. <laughs> Jordan, what, like, you, you really don't hear it? I, I, I just doesn't bother me, like, to be honest. So if someone was going to come over, what if someone, what if someone's coming over to your house? What would you change it then? No, my buddy actually just came over and he was just like, man, you need to change your, uh, change your, yeah, probably because it's changing your battery. And what did, what did you, what did you, uh, what did you say? Like, oh yeah, it's been like that since December. Oh, I just like said, oh yeah, I know. So, I don't know. And then how long, much longer did you guys stay at your house? Oh, he like stayed the night. Like, he, he said, he said he crashed in my place for a night. So your friends are part of the problem. Your friend <laughs> yeah. was able to successfully sleep with that thing going off. Yeah. It doesn't go like, I don't know. I think it, Dude, it, if it's it, it every, goes like, off. It goes off at least once a minute. No, it doesn't. Even if it goes off once every two minutes. Have you had yours go off? off? It goes off like 30 minutes? Once every couple hours. No, no, no it's more than that. It's no, more it's than not. that. It's, it's more than that. that. No, Jordan, it's Jordan. That. It's it's no, I swear. Did you guys talk for more than an hour? It went, it off, went off once. No, it went off twice. I'm no, it sure. didn't, Trent. It went off it's once. not once an hour. I know Is that. Is it the smoke alarm okay. or the carbon monoxide? Smoke alarm. Smoke alarms go off more than once an hour. I promise you that. It doesn't go off more than that. So I, I think you've just. It doesn't go off once a minute. I Once every two minutes. Hold on. I got it pulled up. Uh, or five times at the device, for example. I, I've had it happen before, and it is terrible how long, like, even in my, like, not my carbon monoxide one. Like, okay, hold on. This one is saying, why is my smoke alarm beeping? You might already know that trip every 30 to 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah. mine yeah. doesn't, though. I'm Guys, Maybe I would change it if it was that much. It doesn't go off you're that pa- much. You're past that. I think it went off twice while I was on the phone with you. I think, I think you're. It, I don't go think listen so. for a beep and time it. Okay, I'll time it. 
We're posting this on Twitter as soon as we find out. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that does it. Don't miss our ball draft. Uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, take care. Wrong button. That's actually perfect, though. This has been <laughs> another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. For more information, go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.